Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that like her, we may be faithful and obedient followers of Jesus. Let us now acknowledge our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the Mother of your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I, Zechariah, raised my eyes and look. There was a man with a measuring line in his hand. I asked, where are you going? He answered, to measure Jerusalem, to see how great is its weave and how great its length. 
Then the angel who spoke with me advanced, and another angel came out to meet him and said to him, Run, tell this to that young man. People will live in Jerusalem as though in open country because of the multitude of men and beasts in her midst. But I will be for her an encircling wall of fire, says the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. Sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who has gathered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were all amazed at his every deed, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our first reading today is from the book of the prophet Zechariah. The prophet Zechariah lived about the same time as the prophet Haggai, and both of them prophesied during the post exilic times of the people of Israel. They just returned from exile in Babylon and they were trying to rebuild their house, their lives in Jerusalem. And today in our first reading, Zechariah prophesied about the coming of the Lord. The Lord promises His people that He would come and dwell with them. 
And because of this, people of many nations will gather in Jerusalem, will gather because of the Lord. And this prophecy is fulfilled in Jesus. When Jesus came, many people followed him. In our gospel today, we are told that the people were all amazed at his every deed. And who would not? Jesus performs miracles. Jesus cures the sick. Jesus feeds thousands of people. Jesus raises the dead. Jesus frees those who are bondaged by evil spirits. Because of all these amazing things that Jesus does, the people admired him. And because of admiration of Jesus, they followed him. They gathered around him. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, admiration can be quite fickle because admiration fades. It can be there one day, but it could be gone the next day. This is the reason why Jesus tells his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. Parang sinasabi ni Jesus, Magkatapatan na tayo. Sumusunod kayo sa akin dahil sa paghanga, ito ang mangyayari sa akin. Ako'y pahihirapan, ipapako sa krus, mamamatay, ngunit pagkatapos ng tatlong araw muling mabubuhay. Gusto niyo pa bang sumunod sa akin? Jesus is saying, Follow me not only because you admire me. Follow me because you believe in me. Follow me not only, not only when times are good. Follow me even at times that are not so good. Follow me not only when it, when it is easy and convenient. Follow me, even if it is difficult and demanding. Yan ang pagsunod kay Jesus. And here we could test a true disciple of Jesus. Here we could easily differentiate an admirer of Jesus from a true disciple of Jesus. When an admirer sees something that he does not like in the person he admires, the admirer leaves, but the disciple remains. Kapag humahanga lang at may nakita kang ayaw mo doon sa iyong hinahangaan, nawawala ang paghanga. Pero ang isang alagad ang isang tagasunod, kahit na may mga bagay kang hindi nagugustuhan, patuloy kang maniniwala at susunod. My dear brothers and sisters, are you just an admirer of Jesus? Or are you a true disciple of Jesus? Do you simply admire Him or do you really believe in Him? My dear brothers and sisters, while admiration can be the beginning, can be the start of discipleship, it cannot be the only reason for discipleship. Pwede namang magsimula 
ang pagsunod kay Jesus sa paghanga. Pero hindi dapat manatiling sa paghanga lamang. Dapat lumalim ito at maging pagsunod sa Kanya. Because admiration is just emotion. Discipleship demands conviction. And so today, let us pray that we may become true and faithful followers of Jesus, true and faithful disciples of Jesus, who always remain with Jesus, who stand always by the side of Jesus, who always believes in Jesus, no matter what. Christ our Lord predicted His saving death and resurrection. Through Him, the suffering servant, let us bring our petition to the Father of all mercies. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church may show us a clear vision of patient endurance in the turmoil of our time, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That peace and harmony may reign among nations and among the world's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize that true greatness is not a matter of power and respectability, but is to be found in the service of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with those of Jesus on the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for an end to the pandemic, that the sick be healed, especially our beloved Archbishop Jose, that those who care for them be strengthened, and help us all to persevere in faith and charity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the dead may be freed from their sins and enjoy everlasting peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, give us the courage to accept whatever sufferings may come our way on the path of life. Lead us into the fullness of joy in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we bring you, 
and grant that, enlightened by the Holy Spirit and encouraged by the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our hearts may always seek out and treasure the things that are yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I, I am, am not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Panginoon.